Okay, here we are, Sunday. Um, back at it, back at, what else do I do with my life but sand? Yesterday was a really crappy day. It was cold and rainy. It was like almost freezing at night. And then today, the sun's out, it's beautiful. It's up to high of 20 Celsius today. But right here in the shade, it's actually pretty awesome. It feels quite cool, so that's good. I have to do some chinking on the front of the cabin. Uh, just need to finish that up. But it's really hot on the deck, so I don't want to be there right now. So I'm over here on the non-shady side, or on the shady side. Anyways, what do I have to do? Just that little bit up there, the edges here, and a few logs at the bottom. That's it. And I really want to finish this off, uh, the sanding. Do another coat of sanding, like a light one with the finer sandpaper. I'll do that, and then I'll wipe all the logs down, dust them off, um, and then stain. So here's a scungy pond. Thought I'd show you what it's like now. This is the duck pond, the infamous duck pond. So the ducks are all, they're all still here, but they can all fly away now. There was actually one the last couple days who still couldn't fly and would just like swim to the other side of the pond. But just today for the first time, I saw him actually fly and fly to the other side of the pond. So they're all pretty mobile now. And they should, he's right over there if you can see. They should be taken off pretty soon. He's over there. Can you see him? Just swimming off. All alone, abandoned by his family. And I can actually go across the middle now, so that's fun. Let's go through. Maggie, come this way. Maggie. Maggie, come here. Maggie, come through the water. what August 22nd and this is uh fall is coming you can see some spots or some reds and yellows coming through on the grass on the ground I don't know if there's the trees aren't really turning yellow yet not yet but any day now it's gonna happen Another day, more sanding. <laughs> what did you get this done, been stained yesterday? No, I didn't. So there it is. I only have these left, these four, and I'm doing it, yeah, two about there, so I can get the ends of the logs. That's it, almost there. Well, look at that, finally. Holy crap, finally finished the sanding. Oh man, that was a lot of work. That corner took a lot longer than I thought it would, but that's the way it goes. And then I re-sanded, I just did a little light sanding over the whole thing once more. And then I've just wiped it off with a rag and now it is time to stain. The temperatures are kind of going below freezing. They, they're not supposed to, it's supposed to be eight degrees Celsius, but last night it was minus three. I woke up to a chilly plus nine Celsius inside my cabin, but um, that's because I had all the windows open. Who knew it was going to get that cold? I'm going to start sanding. Or... <laughs> no, I'm not going to start sanding. I'm done. I am so done with sand sanding. <laughs> I'm so done with sanding. I don't want to do any more ever again. But I'll probably do more in the cabin this winter. But for now, staining time, varnish time, chinking time, and then trim around those ugly windows. Those windows need to be replaced. All that done. You can see my job at the beginning was really good and then over here I started to just get really tired. I don't know if that log turned out pretty nice. That one not so much. Some And I was running out of the really coarse sandpaper too. I go through a lot. You guys just make me smile. Going with the golden oak again. Ooh. 
is exciting opening up a new can. Oh. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, I already made a drip. Ooh. Well, look at that, half a cabin. More than half, it's done. I'm gonna have my dinner break. Wow, what a difference. Staining is so fast compared to sanding. I did this in like an hour, not even. What do you want? He just wants to play ball. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go get it, go get it. There it is, there it is, okay. It's a race! Oh, Sadie got it! Heller! You're too slow! Oh! Here, let's get that one. Gotcha. Here, Helly! Helly! Okay. Oh, look at that from that side. Holy cow. Didn't look at that yet. Wow. Oh my god. Are you excited? Done. Oh my goodness. It is nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I've been staining this. I always think staining is not gonna take long, but I had probably took me at least a couple hours and had to break and have dinner, but uh, it's all done. Look at that. Even did around the corner here a little bit. Got that done all the way up there to there. And yeah, pretty excited about this. My hands feel like claws. They were numb <laughs> this morning when I got up. They're just very stiff and painful last night. Nice to uh, move on to something else. I gotta do some other projects. I'm getting bored of this one. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna finish it first before I do anything else. Let's take okay, so it is now Friday. I have not done anything for the last three days. It's been really busy with work and I've been in town a lot. I had to go to physio the other day um, with all this sanding and work that I've been doing. Seem to have screwed up my body. I have a wonky shoulder. I have a rib that was displaced that she was able to pound the crap out of yesterday and it kind of oh, had me laying in bed for the rest of the day. So today I'm feeling better. Now I am ready to verithane the first coat. I'm gonna do that today. It is lunch hour on a Friday. So I'm going to zip off one coat and the verithane goes really fast. I should should time myself but I predict it'll take half an hour tops probably more like 20 minutes things I want to accomplish before my Sunday video I want to get the this will be done today uh, well maybe tomorrow and I hope to start the chinking on it just start it I'll be happy with that I also want to get the trim chinking and trim done on the front of the cabin and have that completely done and then have a beautiful deck No idea how much I'm going to use. The thing I find tricky about the varnishing is that you, it's really hard to tell where you finished. Especially after you put on one coat, it's, the first coat is not so bad because you can tell the rough stuff. But it's after I do a coat, it's really hard to tell where I finished, but what are you going to do? Okay, halfway done. Can you tell? I finished right about the middle of that. No, right there. Beauty!
Okay, one coat of varnish complete. Look at that. You see the difference between the uh, logs. You just see how rough that side is compared to that. You can just see the grain so much nicer. It's amazing. So that took about 45 minutes, so not too bad. I'm gonna put two more coats on. Uh, they need about two hours to dry in between, so I can do one coat after work, one more tomorrow if it's not too cool in the morning, that's Saturday, and then start chinking, which is my plan. And tonight I'm going to work on the trim for the front. <laughs> Pooper just got a brand new squeaky ball. She's very excited. <laughs> is stained. Woo Good morning. I have stain all over my chin. <laughs> Just noticed that as I turned on the camera. So I am finishing this up. I'm getting close, but I totally miss, I screwed up a few things. So let me take you, let me walk you through it. Okay, so I got some trim up. It looks okay. Um, it wasn't exactly what I planned. I wanted to have a little bit of an overhang like up there on here. That didn't quite work out on this side. It did a little bit on that side. <laughs> the bottoms, I wanted to be level like that one. I wanted them to be even with the, the side trim. And you can see over there that that one didn't really work out. Anyway, so um, because my windows are all broken, I am going to be replacing these next summer. So I'm not too worried about the trim. The other windows will be a little bit different um, on the inside. So I, it, yeah. I'm not gonna mess around. I was gonna cut them, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. If I have to cut them, I'll do it when I get the um, the new windows up. All up with, you know, I put one nail in each of them just to make sure they looked okay. And then I realized that I did not finish the chinking. <laughs> now I gotta take the bottom ones off. I could do it sort of with it on there, but not really. It'll actually, no, it'll be difficult. And then if I ever, if I move the trim up, then it's gonna look horrible and it'll be a pain to replace. So. The best thing is, is just to take off that trim again. I only put a few nails in, so shouldn't be too bad. But that's where I'm at with this, so stay tuned and I should finish this today. It's also pouring rain out. So I was, I got two coats of varnish on the side, um, but it's, since it's raining, it's not really wet in too many places. What is she doing? What are you doing? Stop it. You keep getting stuck behind the freezer. <laughs> um, I mean, I could do all of this, but the outsides are a bit wet. So that's not good for the varnish. I might just leave it till, um, I don't know. We'll see. I have to finish off that chinking and then get to the dump today. I need to get water. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Can you get stain up your chin? the perils of living alone not looking in a mirror for a while There we go. Just have a little bit of chinking to do on the very bottom, but I gotta vacuum that out. There's a lot of dust at the bottom. 
But I got the trim up and a lot done. It was a super productive week. Excuse the stain chill on my chin. Chill. <laughs> the stain still on my chin hours later. Yeah, I gotta put that light back up. I have to do something with the top there. I'm thinking of doing cedar shingles at the top, like dark brown, black cedar shingles. Probably not this year though. I mean, it is something I could do in the winter, so that's okay. But I don't know if I'll do that. I don't know if I have the time or energy or money to do that. Anyways, thanks for watching another productive week here, around here. Uh, next week, I don't know what I'll be doing. Try and get that. I gotta get the chinking done around the side before it gets too cold. But uh, that shouldn't take me more than a week. Okay, I'm saying a week, so I'll double that because I'm always off. So let's say two weeks to get that finished. Because then it'll be starting to get uh, pretty chilly at night and during the day. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.